Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought, I'm pretty tired to be honest because I've not had much sleep this week. I thought I would sit down and just talk you through a few new in pieces that I'm loving for spring. This is a mix of gifted items and items I've bought so I will make obvious either in the video or in the description bar below which items have kind of been gifted and um, everything will be linked as usual. I'm thinking of maybe doing like a um, spring style or wardrobe staples type video. So let me know if you'd want to see that kind of like of key things that I think everybody should have in their spring wardrobe. And then I can show you guys items in my wardrobe that I bring back out every season. But yeah, today is just a few new in bits. And I'm gonna start with shoes. So the first ones are new in, but I'm not sure on them. So let me know what you think in the comments below. It is a pair of Nike um, MK Techno, I think that's what they call them. I thought they were all white, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but they've actually got a slight kind of beige tone going on with these here. Um, I did want all white ones, but I have this morning on ASOS, because I couldn't sleep, ordered another five pair of trainers, so I'm going to be filming a Balenciaga Triple S Affordable Dupes video. So you see these in there and then I'll kind of decide which ones I want to keep. So that'll be my next video, so keep an eye out for that one. So those are the first things and then I will show you some bags now. These bags have very kindly been gifted. Uh, one brand I came across on Instagram called Azarina. I hadn't actually heard of them before but I had seen some of their beautiful bags styled by the likes of Hannah Krosky. You've probably heard me mention her Instagram. Again I get lots of inspiration from her. I'll leave her in the description box below. And they kindly said I would be able to pick out three bags of my choice. So I've picked three that I'm in love with and hopefully you guys will like them too. If you've not heard of them as well, hopefully it's a new brand that you guys can kind of get to grips with. So the first one is a gorgeous kind of half crescent moon bag. It's in a cream mock crop and it's also monogrammed. Um, you can have initials, you can pick what you want for your monogram. You can have silver or gold. You can even have like symbols like hearts and stars and things. So inside this, this strap is actually detachable. And then on the inside we have room for money so we've got like a little coin purse and then we also have cards on this side so this is just going to be absolutely perfect for Barbados I think it'd be really good for you know a night out or running into the shops just carrying like a couple of cards cash lipstick and your phone with you so I really love that it's a really nice mini compact size it's not too small and it's not verging on like a medium sized small bag then I went for the larger version of the Crescent Moon and in a gorgeous beautiful tan leather which will match an item that I will show you shortly so that's why I thought this would be a perfect fit again it's monogrammed on the inside of this one we've just got an internal zip so you can kind of keep money in spare little loose bits a bit more safe and again the strap here is detachable it's a lot bigger so you can fit a lot more into this uh, you could also use it as a makeup bag or kind of like handy for traveling and putting passports and documents and things like that and so it's a very versatile piece and just beautifully crafted they look simple and minimalistic which is a style that I really love I think it makes things look a lot more expensive and then for the third style I went for something a little bit different and I love bucket bags at the moment so I picked out again in a gorgeous mock croc this lovely kind of taupey pink colour this one is monogrammed with gold instead and we have two straps so again both of the straps are detachable the first one being this little canvas strap and then the second one being a longer strap which you can obviously wear on your shoulder across your body it's adjustable and um, I have just unpacked them this morning so I need to kind of let the creases and the kinks fall out of that one but I'm absolutely loving the colour of this and then inside we have kind of like a little dust bag style opening and to close it you just kind of tie these up so I mean you could have them hanging out of the bag or you could stuff those in as well and you'll fit quite a lot of stuff in here so that is a very very nice bag as well all three of them I'm really impressed with their beautiful quality and I'm really loving this mock crop print which you guys will probably see a lot of around the high street for spring summer and then for my Last bag to show you guys. This was very kindly gifted by Radley. Um, they reached out and asked if I would like to pick a style from the new season. So I went for this. How amazing. I can't think of the name, but again, everything will be linked below. This bag is going to be so versatile for gym wear. So I'll be able to use this when I go to the gym. Um, a few of you actually over on my Instagram, if you don't follow me at Charlotte Buttrick, have been asking um, about my kind of fitness and diet regime lately because I've become a bit of a gym nut, to be honest, and I'm really 
more into my nutrition, which has made a massive difference because I've always gone to the gym, but I'm more into nutrition and more into weight training and my figure has changed quite a lot. So if any of you would like to see fitness style videos or what I eat in a day and things like that on my YouTube here, do let me know in the comments below. But I thought this bag would be perfect for the gym and also, I'm going to go to Barbados, which I keep on banging on about. This is going to be great. I'm going to be using this as my flight bag. It's just a really nice, gorgeous bag. I love the detailing. The Radley London is quite subtle as well, but we still have the classic dog there. And I just love the monochromatic kind of sporty stripes. It has a detachable strap, again, which is adjustable. You can wear it over your shoulder or across your body. Uh, we have a main zip compartment inside of which we have a couple of different pockets. There's one there, we have some kind of netted pockets here on this side, so it's good for organizing what's inside of your bag. And we have some external pockets on the outside here and at the back. So I just thought that's gonna be a well-used and a well-loved bag. And it also looks really chic and expensive as well. So thank you to those brands for gifting me. Now onto some clothing. You might have seen some of these already uh, in some of my styling videos. So the first one I'll show you, this I did a styling video on. Hangers going everywhere, and I can't remember if it's just on Instagram or if I did do it on YouTube. I'm not quite sure, but I will leave it linked down in my description box for you. And it is this amazing faux leather tan trench mac coat from Warehouse. This is actually last season's. I managed to bag it in sale. Uh, I went the size up for a size 12, and I think I only paid £35 for it. But this year they have brought out a similar style, but it's like that shiny vinyl, a little bit like the. Topshop one, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have done a proper video on this. So I will leave any alternatives linked below, but I just love the colour. I'm obsessing over neutrals for spring. I'm becoming more into like my tans and browns because I've always been like a black kind of leather girl. And yeah, I absolutely love it. That's going to be getting a lot of wear. And as I just mentioned earlier, it's going to work really perfectly with my new bag as well. So that paired with all black, this paired with neutrals, this paired with some denim and a plain t-shirt is just going to be a favourite all-rounder for spring. So if you can get your hand on any type of trench coat for spring, I would definitely recommend them. I think they're the perfect transitional coats. So speaking of trench coats, I also have this one which is very gifted, very gifted, very kindly gifted from Amazon Find. Now, if you've not heard of them, Find, Official Find, are a fashion brand exclusive to Amazon. So it's Amazon's own fashion brand, but they have some really fashion forward pieces that aren't too expensive. And I work with them on a monthly basis. They kind of give me a voucher and I can make some selections from the site. So I picked out this amazing checked trench coat. I'm so on the trench coat vibe. I've had a couple in my wardrobe and hardly worn them because I used to feel a bit Inspector Gadget, but you know, as you get a bit older or your taste change or you see how other people style items and you think that actually looks pretty cool so I'm going to start wearing it. So I've been adding to my collection and I don't actually have that many kind of black coats considering I love black um, and monochrome outfits so I've gone for a grey and black check tooth print so I'm sure you'll see this styled up pretty soon. I have a hair on my Instagram but if you do want to see more of my outfits then definitely Instagram is the best place for that because I share all my stories, I share my feed daily uh, and I also have a styling video once a week that doesn't always come to YouTube so I would recommend if you want to see most of these things on to go over to Instagram. Just randomly picking from the rail, you might have seen this in my ASOS haul, it's currently unbuttoned, but I am so excited to wear this. It is a gorgeous denim, um, denim shirt which has tortoiseshell buttons and also a tie waist bit. But I've been playing around with this a little bit and you can also just wear it completely unbuttoned as a jacket over a cami top. Uh, this will be great on holiday for me, kind of to throw over slip dresses and things like that in the evening when it's a little bit cooler. So I know you guys might have already seen this, but I thought I'd share it again because I'm loving it so much. But I will leave my ASOS haul also linked. And sticking with creams and whites, I bought this a while back um, at Cheshire Oaks in... Uh, where is it? It's kind of Elmsmere Portway, and it is an all seats jacket. So if you've got, if you're near Vista Village or you've got like a MacArthur Glen outlet near you, you might also find this in All Saints. They only had size medium, so I did size up. So it's a bit boxy, big, oversized, but I love that. This was in my Zara Neutrals styling video so I will leave that link down below and it is just beautifully soft. I do love All Saints leather jackets but obviously you can get a discount on them that's even better so I think I paid £160 for this instead of £320 um, but it's going to last me 
here's my wardrobe and it's going to work perfectly with all the neutrals that are going to be around this spring summer. I've just obviously got to try and not put foundation around it. So I'm going to start carrying baby wipes around in my bag with me. I've bought some so I can always have some on hand if I'm wearing like a white shirt or things like that to make sure that I wipe down my neck. <laughs> and speaking of my neck, I love, love, love. I've worn it every day since I got it. Excuse my bum in the mirror. It is this uh, mango shell necklace. Now, I was after some shell jewellery pieces last year because I saw a few people on Instagram wearing them and a couple of accounts that I love to follow. But I can't find any. So I assumed that they either bought them on holiday or they were high-end. But the high street have obviously cottoned onto that. So I reckon this spring summer there'll be lots of shell pieces on the high street for you to shop. And in Mango have a few already. Uh, so if you kind of love this look, I think it's very holiday. It's getting me excited for going away and things like that. But I absolutely love kind of the gold detailing as well there. Another bit I've got on my rail to show you. A collaboration which has probably already gone on my Instagram, so this is an Instagram styling video that I'll leave linked, is it was with Gap to style their white chinos, and I picked out a few items, so obviously this is a gifted piece, and it's a gorgeous kind of, not really a pink person, but it's a beigey, pinky, salmon-y type tone. So actually, when I was saying I was unsure about the Nike trainers, like it would work really well with that, because I suppose the beigey pink whatever is in that shoe is picked up in this jacket. Um, love a denim jacket, it's just a great spring staple so that's why I just thought I would pop this one in and show you guys. I have a Levi's uh, light wash denim trucker jacket that I wear all the time in this time of year, like spring summer time of year. I've got a black Levi's one and I have a dark blue one from Amazon actually and then so now I have this kind of different type of colour for me but I loved it with an all white look which I'll put on the screen here so I'm sure I will be styling this a lot more for spring summer. Absolutely love denim through and through as well. And then lastly I should just quickly show you a few pieces from next before I actually have some shoes to share which you've already seen but I'm going to share them again and from next I have if you're after knotted headbands because I know ASOS Top shop like the one I'm wearing now, they sold out quite quickly. Next, actually, stock them if you weren't aware. So, I have like a black cliche one, and then I also have an animal print one, which I thought I'd be a little bit brave with and try and style. I'm not like the biggest animal print lover, but because it's only like a small flash of animal print, I thought it might look nice with some of the neutrals. And sticking on neutrals, as you can tell, I'm loving my neutrals at the moment. I have a gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, I love this blazer. I sized up to a size 12, and it is actually only single breasted. I do normally prefer a double breasted blazer, but this is such a gorgeous fit. It's really slimming. Uh, you might have seen it on Instagram, I'll leave the picture there anyway. And next tailoring, I always love their blazers. They are obviously a little bit more expensive for the high street so about 60 70 pounds but you are getting the quality the difference in quality between this one and my Reese blazer which is about 200 odd pounds to be honest there isn't really much in it so if you're after kind of like a premium blazer still on a high street high price then definitely check out next but I would always say size up a little bit because this isn't oversized on me but I would say their blazers can be a little bit snug. So that was the first piece and then underneath that I actually paired it together is this gorgeous satin silky midi skirt. Now we know that Topshop have loads of these but if you're looking for somewhere else that sell them, if Topshop is sold out in your size or you may be looking for some different colours then this gorgeous champagne one is from Next. and um, I can't wait to take that away with, with holiday on holiday as well. It'll look amazing actually just Simply with this white shirt I've got on, the shell necklace and a pair of strappy sandals which is what I'm about to share with you guys next. You've definitely seen these ones. I'm saying you've seen these sandals before. I'm not sure whether they've actually been included in a haul or if they've just been in styling videos so I've perhaps not sat down and told you about them yet. So we have these gorgeous Topshop strappy sandals. These have come in and out of stock a couple of times online already so keep checking online if they're out of stock at the moment of course check in store they're 46 pound they're real leather and it's got the gorgeous kitten heel and the square kind of toe detailing which is going to be a popular kind of shoe shape for spring summer as well as simple straps so we're taking it back to a simple strap they also have these available in red and they were 46 pounds i couldn't resist a pair of white shoes as well i used to absolutely detest white shoes but for some reason taste change and it might just be because they're simple and strappy that I think, oh, I quite like them now. 
again with kitten heels I used to always think it's a bit grannyish having a kitten heel but I kind of love it now so I also bought a white pair of strappy sandals these are also from Mango I picked them up at the same time as buying my shell necklace I have to say these ones are comfier than the Topshop ones despite the fact you have like a piece that goes through your toe which you would think would maybe rub a little bit but it doesn't the heel is also slightly lower they're just super practical they don't have to be just for like a kind of going out type look or you know doing something smart you can wear them with a pair of jeans you can dress them down you can wear them instead of just flip-flops in the day I think that they just instantly kind of elevate a look so they are my second pair of strappy sandals I will probably end up buying some more not that I need any but I'm just having a little bit of a high street kind of binge at the moment so that's everything I think it's everything that I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about so just a few new spring additions to my wardrobe so keep an eye out for the next video which will be my Balenciaga triple s dupes video because I've been lusting after a pair of those trainers for so long but I'm adamant I'm not spending that money on them so we will hopefully find some good alternatives in that I'm excited for them to arrive should be tomorrow morning and yeah let me know any videos you want to see from me styling spring questions um more home more fitness who knows just let me know in the comments below and thank you for joining me thank you for subscribing if you don't already there is a subscription button down in the description box but you know the drill anyway so i shall see you guys in my next video thanks for joining me bye